Come on in, guys. Time to cook. Mushroom burgers today. Come on in, come on in. Yes. <clears throat> Pinot Grigio. I told y'all I was coming back at 2 o'clock. It's a little bit earlier than 2 o'clock, but early is always better, right? Mm. Come on in, guys. Let me wash my hands. One second. Some mushroom burgers. Y'all ready for this good old recipe? These mushrooms are here so y'all can see the mushrooms. Yes. Mushroom burgers. Come on in, come on in. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Tap the notification bell. And welcome. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. And welcome to all of my day one A1s. Y'all know who y'all are. Also, hit that join button. Join my membership. You can join the smallest, the, the smallest tier, which is only two ninety nine a month. Hit that join button for a chance to win fifty dollars. That's right. Join my membership. You're gonna get exclusive content over there, and you also are gonna have a chance to win fifty dollars. That's right. Hit that join button today. If you want a chance to win $50. All right. Let's get into these mushroom burgers. So I just bought some simple mushrooms, the regular old mushrooms, the sliced ones. I'm going to take them out of this colander. Take a few of them out and slice them up. Just chop them up in small pieces. That's the first thing that you're going to do with your mushrooms. Just chop them up. And I, this is two containers inside of this bowl right here. I might not use all of them right here on this live video today, but they are going to get used for mushroom burgers, even if it's at a later date. Okay. Let me get a different knife. This knife is too short. And you can use any type of mushroom that you want to use. It doesn't have to be these kind of mushrooms. It could be any kind of mushroom that you want to use. I'm just choosing to use these. It's 
shoot. In fact, these were the only mushrooms that they had in um, Target. So that's what I'm going to use. So yeah, these are the regular sliced mushrooms. I think they call them portabella, if I'm not mistaken. That's what they're called. I don't know how many mushrooms I'm, I mean, burgers I'm going to get out of um, these right here. Look, I have more over here in the bowl. Just cooking these first few up for, you know. <clears throat> this is a great meat option for vegan people, for vegan lovers, or a person who is a meat lover and they decided to become a vegan. This is a great option for a burger. I wanted to put some cheese on it as well, but Target didn't have any vegan cheese, so these are just gonna be plain old vegan burgers with no cheese on it. Plain vegan burgers with no cheese. Come on in, guys. Thumbs up the live. Come on in and give this live a thumbs up. And you just want to chop it up as fine as you can get it chopped up. burgers you want one okay hey Jill this would be a great recipe for you to do hon thanks for joining I'm just chopping up my mushrooms right now. I, my plan was to chop up most of these mushrooms um, when I got off the live about an hour and a half ago. But y'all, I sat out on that patio after I got off the live and I was knocked out. Yes, I was out there asleep. Ten sleep up. You started your no, no meat about a a week ago, about a month ago. Nice, be sugar. Have you had the vegan burgers before? Or am I about to show you something new that you can incorporate into your vegan lifestyle now? Yeah, I sat out on that patio after I got off that live and I was sleeping so hard. My head was nodding back off the chair. And yeah, I was seeing that sleep up. Okay, I'm about to show you something new. Okay, cool. So what I'm cutting up is the regular slice mushrooms be sugar these are the regular sliced mushrooms that's what i'm doing right now i'm just cut, chopping them up as fine as i can get them if you got a food a chopper at home you can use that to chop up your mushrooms also or like a blender 
you can use that. That way it'll be faster. Yeah, I, like I said, my plan was to um, do this before I got on camera. So, I didn't go to sleep. I mean, I went to sleep. And I didn't get a chance to do it when I got off, got off the camera earlier. So, here we are. I'm doing it now while I'm on camera with you guys. I hope y'all don't mind. <laughs> Oh yeah, the pineapple bowl. Did you you ever made the pineapple bowl? Some more. I got some more um mushrooms. Hey Selena. Welcome to the live, guys. Y'all thumbs up this live. Don't forget, I'm giving away $50, y'all. All you gotta do is hit that join button, become a member for a chance to win $50. I might make it a monthly thing where I'm giving away money for the members only. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. See how many people join the membership. Okay, yeah, I shouted you out for it. Okay. My memory bad, child. I don't remember. So much. I, be doing, I do so many videos over here and do so many lives and talk to so many people and Y'all, please forgive me. Charge it to my head, not my heart. Okay? Charge it to my head and not my heart. Have I tried fish burgers? Is that what you're saying? Fish burgers? No, I never tried fish burgers. All right. I think I need more. So I know my son is gonna probably want about two. I'm gonna want two as well, but I, I'm more than likely I'm not gonna eat two at the same time. I'll probably eat one now and then one later. Oh, it's with the salmon. I've never tried it, but um, I can. <laughs> Mushrooms are the closest to the same texture as meat for those of you who are vegans out there. I'm gonna come on here and show you all how I saw it. I saw that they, oh, they caught him. They caught him. Okay, okay, good. I saw that they were naming the um the guy who they had as a person of interest. They were naming him as the um, actual suspect. I didn't know they actually caught him. But um, what I was getting ready to say is one of these days I'm going to come on here and show you guys how to make the, they call it vegan, vegan fried chicken. But of course we know that um, mushrooms isn't chicken. But when I tell y'all it looked like some a piece of fried chicken and it damn near tastes like it. I'm going to come on here and show you guys how to make that as well. I got a couple of vegan recipes that I wanted to share, share with you guys. In fact, you know what? No, I'll share this with my cousin later. Some of my cousin was asking me, do I have any, um, do I make cooking videos where I'm doing um, vegan recipes? So I'll just send her this link, this video later on. Can see how to do this. So 
So be sugar, this um vegan journey that you're on now, is this gonna be something that you're gonna be doing forever? Or are you doing it for a few months? Or like what's your goal with this vegan journey? This is gonna be your lifestyle now, but You got some frozen mushrooms. Okay. All right. I feel like I need to cut up some more, y'all. I feel like I need some need to cut some more. Let me cut up a little more. A few more pieces. So this was two containers, those square size containers. Let me show you guys. Hold on. Hold the horses. I'll be right back. This is the size of the containers that the mushrooms came in that I'm cutting up right now. Taking it one day at a time. Okay. Okay. That's all you could do. That's all you could do is take it one day at a time. One day at a time. Y'all drop some bells and palm trees in the chat for me right now. Just because. Drop some bells and palm trees. In fact, I'm going to give y'all a reason to drop some bells and palm trees. Drop some bells and palm trees in the chat for healthy eating on this good old Wednesday afternoon. Okay. Thumbs up this video, share this video. Because sharing is caring. Come on now, even y'all in the bushes, drop some bells and palm trees. Come on out, bush people. Come on out. To all my peeps in the bushes. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to cut up an onion. I'm going to cut up an onion. Boy, stop capping in the mother freaking building. What's up, Cap? Cap. I know you be coming over here to do your little job and stuff like that, and then you be bouncing, and that's cool. But I need you to stick around today. Because this right here is a recipe that you are going to need or want for your Boy Stop Capping Food TV channel. Here for the tea in the building. What's going on, honey? Girl, I know Texas is really nice right now because are we in Charlotte? The weather is Gorge. Y'all see how I'm dressed? <laughs> I look like summertime, right? Don't look like summertime already? Mm, it's only April. Mm -hmm. So I know the weather in Texas is popping. All right. I got one red onion. I don't know why they call these red onions because clearly they are purple. But just, they call it a red onion. I'm gonna call it a red onion, okay? You can use a red onion, a white onion, a yellow onion, a purple onion, a pink onion. <laughs> Whatever color onion you wanna use, you can use. I'm using a red onion today. No specific reason why, just because that's my business, like Tabitha Brown would say. <laughs> I love me some Tabitha Brown, y'all. She is such a sweet um nice lady from what I could tell on camera. 
I don't know how she is in real life. Y'all know people be changing up sometimes when they get off the camera. I don't know. But she seems to have a really sweet, beautiful spirit. And um, that's the only way that I ever want to see her. So we're cutting up our red onion, a.k.a. purple onion. <laughs> All right. Let's chop this on up real good. And I'm only gonna do half. This here, ooh, ooh, this here, ooh. Yeah, I wanna take my braids out so bad, but I don't know what to do with my hair, hair next. <clears throat> I don't wanna wear it straight because I'm starting, I'm working out now and that's just not gonna work out wearing it straight if I'm working out. You get what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying? So we're gonna chop these onions up nice and fine. As fine as you can get them with a knife, that is. Okay? You're gonna chop them up as fine as you can get them with a knife. I ain't no chef, but I can cook. So I'm gonna chop these onions up the best way that I can, y'all. Don't be looking at me like, girl, that's not how you chop up onions. Look, I'm at home. I ain't no pro professional kitchen. I ain't no chef. I ain't been to no school. I'm just chopping the onions up how I chop them up. All right? Y'all chop y'all's up the way y'all chop y'all's up. I'm gonna chop mine up the way I chop mine up. Ooh, I'll tell you one thing. My eyes is burning like a mother. My eyes is burning, baby. Burn, baby, burn. It's the inferno. Burn, baby, burn. Now, now, now. Wait. A piece of onion went inside my... Why? Ah. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, no. A piece of onion fell inside of my wine. Inside of my wine. All right, got that out. I hope it don't taste like onion now. Let me see. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Okay, let's chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. I have a, a, a chopper at home. If I was at home, I would have put the onions inside my chopper so that it could have been like chopped up real, real small. But I'm gonna get them chopped up as fine as I can get them. And um, that's it. That's all I could do. Hey, Chris. I'm good. How you doing? Oh, the eyes is burning, baby. The eyes is burning. The eyes is burning. My eyes is burning. Mm. All right. I think that's fine enough. What y'all think? I think that's good enough. That might be good enough, y'all. Let me let y'all see what this is looking like now. So we got our finely chopped up mushrooms and our finely chopped up red onion, AKA purple onion. <laughs> y'all see what it's looking like? Okay. All right. Now it's time for the good part. Y'all ready? for the good part. Mm. 
And guess what the good part is? The good part is cooking it. Yes, let's go. All right, we're gonna turn on our burner. Turn on this burner. Turn those pot handles in. Always turn those pot handles in. We got our burger buns, y'all. Because we about to have a veggie, not a veggie, a mushroom burger. That's right, a mushroom burger. We got our burger buns for our mushroom burger. Okay. And um, I got some minced garlic here that I'm gonna add into it. And for the spices, I have black pepper, Himalayan salt, cap, Himalayan salt, my boy. <laughs> we got some garlic powder and some total seasoning. And we also have some onion powder. Onion powder, yes, yes, yes. And we got some flour. Okay. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little olive oil into my pan. Let's add a little olive oil into the pan. Right? Let me show you guys how much olive oil is in this pan. Just enough to cover the pan. That's how much olive oil you want to put inside the pan. Just enough to cover the pan. And we're going to let that heat up. We're going to let that do what it do. We're going to let that do what it do what it do. Yes, good salt. Good salt. Himalayan, Himalayan. Now, is Himalayan salt from the Himalayas, or is it just the name of the salt? Let me know in the comment section, y'all. Y'all in the comment section, let me know, is Himalayan salt from the Himalayas? I need to know, because I don't know. <laughs> so I just did a half an onion. I didn't need to do the whole onion. I just did a half an onion. You love mushrooms and onions? Oh, yeah. Here for this heat. If you love mushrooms and onions, then guess what? This is the recipe for you. This is the recipe for you, girl. If you're saying that you love mushrooms and onions, oh, my God. There's another way to make mushroom burgers, too, with the... Um, Y'all know the, the mushroom caps. I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to do that one at a later date. This is just one way. But the mushroom caps, you can also do it with mushroom caps. And um, I like it. I like it both ways, to be honest with you. It doesn't matter to me. Um, they both are equally delicious. But it's just different techniques of how to do it. That's it. So Selena says, I'm not sure, but I do know that Salt Lake City has a salt factory. Mm. <laughs> okay. So our olive oil is heating up. Next, what I'm going to do is take my mushrooms and the onions and put it inside of the olive oil, the heated up olive oil. Wait a minute, let me get a, let me get a spoon. Get a spoon and put our mushrooms and the onions inside of the pan together. Oh, it's smelling good already. Ain't nothing even cooked yet. And it's already smelling good, y'all. 
I'm gonna bring the pan over there so y'all can see what's happening. I know y'all wanna see what's happening in these pots. I know y'all wanna see what's going on inside the pots. I'm gonna bring it over there to y'all in a couple of seconds. Give me a second, y'all. So this is what it looks like all mixed up together. And now we're going to add our spices. We're going to add our add the spices inside of the um, pan. First, we got our Himalayan salt. Then we got our black pepper. We got some total seasoning. Garlic powder, lots and lots of garlic powder, because I love me some garlic. Yes. We got our onion powder. And then we're going to take it and give it another toss. Okay, let's give it another toss. Thought that spoon was gonna stay inside the pan, but it, it fooled me. Now what I'm gonna add is my minced garlic. Let's add some minced garlic inside of this mixture. I need a spoon. Still trying to figure my way out around this kitchen, y'all. Hold on, hold on. So I got a teaspoon. I'm just gonna do one teaspoon of um, minced garlic. You can use fresh garlic if you want, or you can use minced garlic. It's up to you. In my opinion, garlic is garlic. So that's cooking. Continue to let this cook. The next thing I'm gonna do is, y'all bear with me for one second, hold on. Hey, Mr. Irresponsible. Let me get, hold on one second, y'all. Mm. Let me get a bowl. Um, now I'm gonna get the big, this bigger bowl. And in this bowl, we're gonna put our flour, okay? We're gonna put our flour in this bowl. I'm not sure how much flour. I'm just pouring the flour. I'm eyeballing it, okay? Real cooks, I'm not a chef, but I can cook, I'm a cook. And real cooks, we really don't measure anything. We just eyeball it and whatever happens, happens, right? <laughs> We just eyeball it and whatever happens, happens. So that's the flour. But I'm thinking you don't need too much flour because once you guys see exactly what I'm gonna do with this, then you'll understand why you don't need that much flour. So with the flour, let me turn these mushrooms and onions down on low. And our minced garlic. Now I'm going to season my flour with the same spices that I used for the mushroom 
and onions. So first we have some black pepper. Then we have garlic powder. Okay, I have to open this one up. I used the last bit of the other garlic powder. So let's open up this jar right here. Hold up, y'all. I'm coming. Hold your horses. I'm coming. I'll be right back. Hold your horses. All right. Exactly, V Sugar. Who measures their daggone ingredients? Unless you're making a cookbook. Shit, me, even then, I might be able to do a cookbook without measurements, right? Y'all just eyeball it and stop pouring until your ancestors tell you to stop. So let's go ahead and gonna put some garlic powder inside of my flour mix. All right? Got some garlic powder. Lots and lots of garlic powder because I love me some garlic. <laughs> Woo! Jill, I'm so thankful for you for just being in the bushes and being at work listening. I appreciate you, girl. We got the total seasoning. We got that Himalayan salt from the Himalayas, from the Himalayas, from the Himalaya, 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 Himalaya. Hey, 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 hey. What else? Um, onion powder. Oh yeah, onion powder. Lots and lots of onion powder. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, hold up now, y'all. Hold up now, hold up. What I'm not going to do is be crazy with it. So we're going to take our flour mixture and just like stir it up some. Now I know I said I didn't measure it, but uh, um, this might be a little bit too much flour. And so I'm going to pour some of this flour out. And I can use this flour mixture for um, another batch. But I do want to go ahead and get it. You know what? I'm going to add, I'm going to add some adobo inside of this flour mixture. I'm going to add some adobo. Mm -hmm. All I did was adobo the burgers. All I did was adobo the burgers. I got this kitchen looking crazy now, y'all. It looks really, really crazy in here. I'm about to straighten it up a little bit before I go on to the next step because I'm starting to feel like I can't function. All right. And when the kitchen or the area workspace that I'm working at, working in, no matter what I'm doing, whether it's cooking or something else, when this space is looking crazy to me, I start to not be able to function. So let me go ahead right now, really quick, guys, and just straighten up my work area, and then I'll come back with the next step, okay? So we're going to put some stuff up. Flour going up. Let's put these spices away, back into the cabinet. Put the spices back in the cabinet. Right? Ain't that what we doing? You gotta clean as you go. Clean as you go. Clean, 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 clean. Clean as you go, right? Put everything away, wipe the counter down and stuff like that. So that way when I'm done cooking, I can just sit down and eat and not have to worry about a bunch of mess. 
And also while I'm cooking, like I said, the work area is looking decent and I'm not feeling like it's just a whole lot going on around me that's not supposed to be going on. So let's go ahead and grab this small bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this small bowl so that I can put some of my flour mixture inside of it. I wish I had some glass bowls so you guys could see exactly what's happening. But um, it is what it is, right? So we got a small bowl. So now we got the mushrooms and the onion mix. And I'm going to put that inside of the small bowl. Oh, this, this pot is heavy. This pan heavy, y'all. Hold on now. Hold up. I'm trying to hold it all cute and stuff. I can't hold it like that. So we're going to put our mushroom and onion mixture inside of this bowl. Right? The magic is about to happen now, y'all. This is the magical moment. Y'all thought the magic happened when I first put the mushrooms and onions in the pan, but the magic is about to happen right now. This is about to be magical. I'm about to change y'all life. That's what I'm doing. Let's rinse this out. We're gonna rinse this pan out, y'all. Hold your horses, I'm coming. And while that's rinsing, my mushrooms is cooling off. It's cooling down, baby. Cool down. Cool down. Mm. Hold your horses. I'm coming. Don't go nowhere. I'm coming right back. Don't be getting impatient with me. Just have to rinse that pan out real quick because this is what the burgers are going to be cooked in. All right? So we put that back on the fire. back up like I don't still need it. I still need this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still need that olive oil. I sure do. Yes, 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 yes. It is. Mm. So y'all remember that flour mixture that I made that I seasoned up real good? Now we're going to take our flour mixture and put some of it inside of the mushrooms. Yeah. That's what we're doing next. That's what's happening next. Mm -hmm. So I got my big spoon. I'm going to put one spoon inside of it. Mix it up and see what the consistency is like. So the reason for this is because we need something that's going to hold this meat together. What meat? <laughs> Tisha, this is not meat. This is not meat, Tish. It's mushrooms. Yeah. Anyway, we need something that's going to hold these mushrooms together. And if you're a vegan, you don't eat eggs. So we know that normally eggs is a food that holds other foods together, especially food that you're baking or frying or whatever the case may be. Because you're a vegan, if you're a vegan, now, if you're not a vegan, if you want to use an egg, go ahead and use an egg by all means. But we making this to make, to be vegan friendly, right? So we're going to make this so that if a vegan is watching this video, they'll be able to 
do the same exact recipe, right? Oh, not only is it going to hold it together, but when I start making the patty out of it, the flour is also going to, um, what am I trying to say? It's going to make it to where it's not sticking to your fingers as much. It's, I mean, it's still going to probably stick to my fingers, but not as much. But that's how it look right now. I know y'all like, oh, that don't even look good. That look nasty. I know y'all thinking that. Y'all like, oh, that look nasty. But but guys, do y'all see how little bit this look like? This doesn't even look like a lot. And I use a whole pack of those mushrooms, and I have a whole pack left. This is probably gonna make literally two burgers depending on how big you want your burger to be mm. should i lift my finger yeah uh-huh mm. 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 oh yeah that's good mm. all the flavors i could taste every single spice let me wash my hands off real quick hold on y'all i'll be right back hold on flour on it like I said because y'all see how it's sticking to my fingers right now mm -hmm. we can't have that we can't have that and we want when it goes into the pan for it to be able to cook properly in the pan I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil inside of my pan okay a little olive oil in the pan. I need, okay, see what I'm looking for. So let's take our flour mixture. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more flour on it. Bump, bump. Bump, 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 bump. Dry my hands. Bump, bump, bump. A mushroom burger, y'all. Mushroom burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's flip it over. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, ooh. I keep rinsing my hands. I don't like that messy, ooey gooey feeling on my hands, y'all. Y'all know I ain't no real chef because a real chef wouldn't even care. <sighs> but I am a real cook, so why do I care? <laughs> Gonna add a little bit more flour to it. So when you do this at home, you wanna add the flour according to how it feels on your hands. That's how I'm determining how much flour to use. However, however it feels on your hand, like what the, whatever the texture feels like, you want to add the flour to the point where it's not feeling like all ooey gooey and mushy. 
that's the goal for it to not be feeling all ooey gooey and mushy okay <clears throat> see i'm just sprinkling the flour and rolling it around on my cutting board until the texture feels basically nice and smooth okay I'm just going to make it in burger form. There you have it. It's formed into a burger. Look at that. This is about to be the best burger you guys ever seen in your life. And if you try this at home, it's going to be the best burger you ever taste in your life. And you can add cheese to your burger. Um, I was going to finally chop up some, um, some spinach and put it inside of it, but for the sake of the fact that this is a live video and I don't want to be on here too, too long making this burger, I just decided against it, but you can do whatever you want to do with your vegan, your mushroom burger. You can add whatever it is that you want to add into it. So yeah, and I'm just sprinkling the flour so that it can feel smooth. And once I put it inside of the pan, I don't want the mushroom to stick to the pan. So like I said, this is one of the things, one of those things that when you're making it, you have to feel, you got to make sure that it feels the way that it needs to feel in your hands before you put it inside of the pan. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here and test my oil really quick to see if it's hot enough for me to put my burger inside of the pan. Hold your horses. I'll be right back. All right. Trubel, how many burgers do you want? We got a few more minutes. Probably need to put a little more heat to it, to the pan, y'all. And now what I'm doing is flattening it out a little bit more. Because when I cook it, I want to make sure that um, the inside get nice and cooked. So I'm flattening it out a little bit more. <clears throat> okay. What you said, B-Sugar? I'm definitely making that. Can't wait until it hits the pan. And then the sandwich. Yes, honey. Yes. All right, let me put a little more heat on the pan. Just added a little more heat onto the pan. And then I'm going to put this burger in the pan. The mushroom burger. Ooh! Ooh! Everybody say yum, yum! Say yum, yum! Eat them up! Yeah, I got a another a recipe for y'all. It's um instead of spaghetti and chopped meat, is it's spaghetti, but it's but it's made with chickpeas. Ooh, and when I tell you guys, like you could put chickpeas and mushrooms inside of this recipe, and it looks just like how um, ground beef would look. But basically, it's ground up um, mushrooms and chickpeas together, and it is so delicious, y'all. You put your your spaghetti sauce on it inside of the chickpeas and the mushrooms, and you top top it on top, put it on top of your um, spaghetti. And I'm telling you, you would think that you had some 
real live spaghetti with ground beef. Y'all don't want to miss these vegan recipes. I got some vegan recipes for y'all asses. Just hold up. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the pan now. And rinse my hands off. Let me rinse off my hands. All right. I'm gonna bring y'all over here so y'all can see what it's looking like in the pan. I don't know, V Sugar. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I wanna do the, um, it was another, what else I said I was gonna do for y'all? I'm gonna do the, um, the vegan fried chicken first before I do that. All right, y'all, come over here so y'all can see what this look like. How do I turn this camera around? I don't know how to turn the camera around, so I'm just going to have to do it like this so y'all can see what it's looking like in the pan. It's not the perfect shape. Hold up, y'all. So that's what it's looking like. Can y'all see? Wait a minute. That's what it's looking like. All right. All right. So let me get the burger bun and everything else that I'm going to dress up my burger with. Get that. Let me move all this stuff out the way. Hold on, hold on. Let's wipe this counter off real quick. Wipe off this counter. And, um, <clears throat> We can plate it. Thank you, Amalia. No longer riding with Walt's cooter. Wait a minute. <laughs> Y'all, these names be cracking me up. Thanks for watching from the bushes at work. I appreciate you. We got our burger bun. Hey. Hey. Hey, 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 burger bun, burger bun, burger bun, burger bun, burger bun. And you're going to let it cook. Because it's the mushroom and all I used was flour to hold it together, I like to let it cook at least until it feels a little firm on the first on the um, first side that I put it in the, uh, the pan in on, and then once it feels firm enough, then I'll go ahead and I'll flip it. And guess what? It's firm enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flip it, flip it how I dip it. Hey, flip it how I flip it, flip it. No, I'm just kidding. Hold on, y'all. And flip it over. Ooh. Let me let y'all see what it's looking like. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this. Y'all tell me that don't look like a burger. That don't look like a burger. Come on now. Come on, somebody. Now let's let it cook on this side. 
So on my bun, I'm going to put some mayonnaise. Let me cross my fingers that they have mayonnaise in the refrigerator. Hold on. Hey, hey, where's the mayo? Where's the mayo? Hey, and we got some, and we got some, got some mayo. Mayo. Um, in the place of lettuce, I'm going to be using some spinach in the place of lettuce, right? Is there any tomatoes here? You say tomato, I say tomato. You say tomato, I say tomato. Tomato, 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 tomato. tomato. I don't know. No, I don't think there's any tomatoes. Hold on, y'all. I just made a mess. I just made a mess over here, guys. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. So there isn't any tomatoes. So there won't be any tomatoes on this burger. Okay. Let's get our mayonnaise, our yummy, yummy mayonnaise. Use whatever kind of mayonnaise that you want to use. I'm using Duke's today. I usually use Hellman's, but I'm not in my kitchen. So I'm using what the owners of the household has. And that is Duke's. And I like Dukes. I do. Yeah, I sure do. I do like Dukes. Not the Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> now I like the Dukes of Hazard too. Y'all ever watched the Dukes of Hazard? When y'all was kids? I used to love watching Dukes of Hazard. They used to have them Daisy Dukes on. They used to be like, look at them girl with them Daisy Dukes on. I said, look at them girl with them. Look at that girl with them Daisy Dukes on. Daisy Dukes. Da no, they ain't say that. I'm lying, y'all. I'm lying. I'm saying that. <laughs> now, I like a lot of mayonnaise. Now, y'all probably looking at me like, girl, all that mayonnaise, yes. I like mayonnaise on both sides of my bread. Now, when you bake your sandwich, you make your um, burger the way you want to make yours. But me, I'm putting mayonnaise on both sides of the bread. Both sides of the bread. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Oh! All right. Now, where um, the ketchup at, Belle? In the fridge. Okay. Ketchup. Get this burger popping. burger is much bigger than the bun but it's okay a lot of times burgers be like that they be bigger than the bun right don't y'all agree next I'm going to put ketchup oh 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 Oh, let me tell you something. Now, no longer riding the walk. You'll like this mushroom. Yes, yes, yes. 
we got our spinach. Yes. Now, for your spinach options or whatever, you can use spinach as an option or you can use lettuce as an option. I'm using spinach. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Then we take our top, the top part of the bun, and voila, we have a vegan burger. Yes. Y'all want me to taste this, don't y'all? Y'all ready for me to bite into this deliciousness? Y'all ready for me to bite into all this deliciousness? But before I bite into it, I got to take a picture of it because I got to change my thumbnail. Because that current thumbnail that's up there right now, that ain't it. This is it right here. This is the thumbnail picture that I need. So y'all bear with me before I bite into this deliciousness. Let me get a quick pick. Let me get a quick pick, okay? Let me get a quick pick. Let me get a, let me get a, let me get a quick pick, okay? Let me get a quick pick. Y'all hold your horses, I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere, I'm coming. I need a nice little background too. I'll, I'll be right back. Time to taste all this goodness, y'all. It is time. It's time to eat a dish with Tish. Eat a dish with Tish. It's time to eat a dish with Tish. Eat a dish with Tish. Hey, it's time. Let me say my grace really quick, and then I'm going to get it in. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Bless the hands that prepared it. May it be used for the nourishment of my mind and my body. In the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen again. Mmm. Mmm. But I ain't gonna hold you. Mm. Now, mm. whatever it is that you want to put on your burger, you can put it on your burger. You could put onions on your burger. 
You put cheese on your burger. Mustard. Pickles. Whatever it is that you want to put on your mushroom burger. You can put it on your mushroom burger. Or you can put the same exact thing, same exact ingredients that I put on my mushroom burger. Oh, whatever y'all want to do. It's all up to y'all. Because at the end of the day, you're the one that got to eat it. Okay? Mm. You might be asking yourself, can you actually Mm -hmm. I'm not the one eating it. But I ain't even gonna hold you. I ain't gonna lie. That right there? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. In my Kwame Brown voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's so good. Now, let me tell y'all what y'all gonna expect though. If you make it like this, the inside is not as firm as um a real burger, as real beef would be. It does taste a little teeny bit soft, but it's so good because it gives you the illusion as if you're eating a burger. And with all of the um, spices that I put in there, you're gonna be able to taste every single spice, especially if you Add your spices inside of your mushroom, you know, the correct way. You don't want to over, over season it. You don't want to under season it. You want to do it to the point where, you know, you can taste the spices, but it's not like overpowering the flavor of the mushroom. And the good thing, the other good thing about it is the fact that the spices that I added into this burger, um, it, it, it really gives you the illusion and you really feel like you're eating some beef. You will not be able to tell that you're eating a mushroom. So if you're a person who doesn't like mushrooms, I promise you won't be disappointed with this. You will not be disappointed. And that's on everything I love. Look at that. Tell me that don't look like beef. That look like a piece of beef right there, don't it? Y'all see that? Now... Because it's not meat, naturally you're probably going to be hungry faster. You're going to probably be hungry faster because it's not meat. Yes, here for the tea. Try it today. Let me know. Text me or call me and let me know what it tastes like, how you felt about it. Send me a picture, girl. <laughs> it's really good. So, I still have a little of the mixture left. This is enough to make one more bur burger. Um, and then I still have this whole pack left. 
So you figure, depending on the size. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. Hold on. Depending on the size that you want your burgers, is going to determine how much of the mushrooms in the pack you're going to use. So because I made these burgers, this that burger pretty big, is why I was only able to get two out of this one pack. And the other thing is a lot of people think that it's expensive to eat like a vegan, but it's really not. This pack of mushrooms was a dollar fifty nine. So if you have a family of four, each one of you can get one burger um, out of the two packs. And that's three dollars. So hmm. So I would say a family of four with two children, a husband and wife, I would probably get three packs of mushrooms. I would get three packs of mushrooms because of course the man is probably gonna want two burgers. And then you could add some sides to it. Um, I did take some spinach out to make on the side of it, but I didn't get around to making it because this live was going on long, long enough. But you can make some fries with it for the kids. They will never know that they're not eating real burgers. And you could probably let it cook a little bit longer than I did just to give it a little bit more firmness on the inside. Um, for me, that was perfect. But like I said, as I was cooking it, when you cook it, you wanna just make sure that before you flip it, the part that you put inside of your pan first, make sure that that is nice and firm and then you can flip it over. And if you, like I said, if you want to cook it a little longer to make sure the inside get a little bit more firmer, then you could. But that's basically how you make your, that's one way of making a mushroom burger. I'm going to come on here another day and show you guys how to make the mushroom burgers out of the mushroom caps. And when I say the mushroom caps, I'm talking about the mushroom, the big, I think it's a portobello mushroom. I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure. But the big mushroom caps, I'm going to show you guys how to make burgers out of that as well. Absolutely delicious, hands down. I promise y'all. I got more vegan dishes for y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Too. I'm not a big fan of Tabitha Brown for no reason. I've been watching her and paying attention. And I learned a lot from watching her. And I decided why not share it with my people so that they can learn how to cook this way and eat this way as well. When you just want to, maybe for a few days out of the week, you want to eat a little clean and, and not put meat in your diet. These are great options. These are great options. Right? So anyway, that's it. I'm going to get off this camera now and um, finish up, make two more. Trevor, how many you said you wanted? One or two? One. I got to make two more. So I'm not going to do that on camera. Um, but I just really wanted to come on here specifically to show you guys exactly how to make a mushroom burger and um, bee sugar. When you make your mushroom burger, take a picture of it. Send me, send it to me in the email so I can see how it look and everything. My email address, um, I'm going to put it in the description below this video so that you all can have it. Um, but I want to thank you all for watching and um, being my guest here today on this Cook a Dish with Tish segment. Watching me make this good old good old mushroom burger. So with that being said, 
those of you that was here with me from the beginning to the end, I appreciate you. Those of you that was here with me from the middle to the end, I appreciate you. Even those of you that came in at the tail end until now, I appreciate you. You want to know why? Because no matter where you came in, you took the time out of your busy schedule to spend it with me. And I appreciate each and every one of you for that reason and that reason alone. So with that being said, until next time, deuces. Peace, guys. See y'all later. Share the video.